so welcome dear friends how are you hope you are doing well so today we are going to cover another session uh, based on english literature mcqs and this is part 6 so previously we have already been covering five parts are simply 500 mcqs of history of english literature mcqs so let's start our today's session Five hundred and one MCQ. Which of the following is not a tragedy written by Shakespeare? So answer is Merchant of Venice. There was other options, and all those were actually a tragedies: uh, Hamlet, Othello, and King Lear. So question number five hundred and two. Who wrote the Second Coming? Answer is William Butler Yeats. Five hundred and three. What period in English literature is called the Augustan Age? Answer is early eighteenth century. So question number five hundred and four, which play among the following plays is not blank verse? So answer is Pygmalion. So other options were also there. So Pygmalion, written by G. B. Shah, George Bernard Shah, is actually not in blank verse form. Five hundred and five, which of the following writers is not women? So answer is Robert Browning. All remaining options were actually men. Five hundred and six. who is the villain in hamlet so everybody knows about it i think it's claudius 507 who kills macbeth in the play macbeth answer is macduff it is macduff actually who kills the macbeth in the play 508 which is the last of shakespeare's great tragedies answer is king lear so 509 who is the heroine of shakespeare's play hamlet and its answer is ophelia 510 romanticism or the age of romanticism if it can be pinpointed is usually assumed to date from answer is publication of lyrical ballads and its preface so 1798 uh, 511 Which of the following would a romantic poet be most likely to use? So, answer is an airy fairy. So, every romantic poet most likely be most likely to use airy fairy. Five hundred twelve words was poetry always reflects. Answer is the creation of an original philosophy because he was a great lover of nature. Five hundred thirteen. Byron's poetry is ambiguous and has a vividness of phrasing which sometimes reaches the point of abstraction so it's true 514 english bards and scotch reviewers is a satirical attack on contemporary writers who had annoyed byron again their statement is true 515 in 1850 Tennyson succeeded Wordsworth as poet laureate. Yes, it's true. Five hundred sixteen. Mary Ann Evans is the same person as George Eliot. Again, true. Same name. Five hundred seventeen. Keats' widespread appeal to the reader's interest in the supernatural. So it's not true. False. So it's actually sensuousness. not supernatural so supernatural actually belongs to the uh, samuel taylor coleridge 518 the literary figure who had the most pronounced effect on keats was answer shakespeare 519 shelley was a firm believer in all of the following except answer human conduct based on conviction so shelley never ever believed in that 520 shelley's poetry used all of the following components for themes except answer worship of god because shelley was an atheist so he was also excelled from the university of oxford uh, due to uh, uh, distributing a pamphlet of atheism 521 the prose of the romantic period had a tendency to its answer is objectify the issue in terms of cause 522 charles lamb's 
dream children is a notable for its answer whimsical pathos 523 the victorian age can be dated by which of the following events and years answer tennyson's poems chiefly lyrical 1830 to their death of queen victoria in 1901 524 which of the following works had the greatest influence on the victorian age answer is tennyson's in memoriam so it is uh, considered as magnum opus of tennyson and tennyson 525 in which of the following genres did victorian literature achieve its greatest success so obviously it's novel 526 identify the sources of the quotations listed below held to the billet spirit this quotation is taken from to a sky lock 527 spirit of beauty that dost consecrate it's taken from hum to intellectual beauty pen must never hope to reproduce the faint hell flesh that dies along her throat so this quotation has been taken from uh, my last dukes 529 where are the songs of spring a where are they think not of them though has thy music too this is taken from ode to autumn 530 are happy happy boughs that cannot shed your leaves nor ever bid the spring adieu so this quotation is taken from ode on a grecian urn written by john keats 531 our birth is but a sleep and a forgetting it is taken from imitations intimations of immortality 532 32 a hand may first and then a lip be kissed this quotation is taken from john duen uh, sorry don duen written by byron 533 for my part to such doings i am a stranger my hair is gray but not with years nor grew it white in a single night this quotation is taken from the prisoner of chillen 534 Who wrote Shakespeare's later comedies? Answer is Palmer D. J. 535. Which of the following is not a play by Shakespeare? Answer is Pygmalion. 536. Who is the author of After Strain Guards? Answer is Eliot. 537. Who is the villain in Hamlet? Answer is Claudius. 538. Who is the heroine of Hamlet? Answer is Ophelia. 539 after whom the elizabethan age is named answer is elizabeth 1 540 who wrote common persuade answer is levi's a fire 541 paradise lost is an epic by answer is milton 542 after apple picking is written by robert frost 543 old man in the sea was written by ernest hemingway 544 intellectual beauty is written by answer is p b shelley 545 who wrote 20th century views so answer is abraham's amish 546 desert places is a actually it is a poem 547 the university wits were so university wits were playwrights 548 william shakespeare was born in answer is 1564 549 francis bacon died in 1626 550 the period between 1660 to 1750 is known as answer is the restoration period in english literature 551 who wrote the pilgrim's progress answer is don john bunyan 552 the conduct of the eloys is a famous work of answer is jonathan swift who also wrote a gulliver's travels very famous due to gulliver's travels 563 the 
the abstract theory of utilitarianism is the theme of dickens novel answer is hard time so it is the hard times theme 554 the one remains the many change and pass heaven's light forever shines earth's shadows so this actually said by uh, shelley in his poem adonis 555 name the character of a novel of thomas hardy which is much like oedipus king lear and faust answer is tais 556 she cannot fade though though has not the bliss forever will though love and she be fair so these lines have been taken from ode on aggression and again written by keats 557 withdrawal from an uncongenial world of escape either to the deaths or more often to an ideal dream world is a theme of tennyson's answer is the lotus eaters 558 philip wakin on pellet and tom tolliver are the characters of george eliot's novel answer is the mill on the floss 559 in all things in all natures in all stars this active principle abides identify the poet and his peculiar belief that can be understood from the above lines so obviously uh, poet is william wordsworth as he was of the opinion that nature is the point of focus for everything so william wordsworth uh, as you already know he was one of the great admirer of the nature thy damnation slumbers not name the writer his book and the character who uttered wrote these words so writer is thomas thomas hardy and the book is tales of the arbor wilds character a young man who is traveling to country side 561 in memoriam by tennyson is basically it is an elegy so 562 the poem the marriage of heaven and hell was written by answer is blake 563 unto this last is a book written by answer is ruskin on moral reforms so 564 matthew arnold said an intellectual angel beating in the void his luminous wings in when about shelley so answer is shelley 565 for whom it is said sensuousness is a paramount bias of his genius answer is john keats 566 meeting at night by browning is a so it's actually a monologue 567 a pioneer is psychological analysis in fiction so it is basically mentioned by the george eliot 568 though glorious mirror where the almighty's form glosses itself in tempest the above line occurs in byron's answer is roll on the deep and dark blue oceans 569 Dickens gives a tragic picture of the French Revolution in his novel Answer is A Tale of Two Cities uh, London and Paris 560 Love of Political Freedom always the noblest of Byron's passions inspired him to write Answer is The Prisoner of Chillon 571 An aesthetic delight in art and a streak of extreme sadistic cruelty can be observed in browning's poem answer is pippa passes 572 edward fizzles the rubaiyat of umar khayyam inspired browning to write answer is rabi bin ezra 573 shakespeare uses soliloquy for answer revelation of character 574 gulliver's travels is a so it is satire 575 hemingway wrote the sun also rises 576 the heroine of pride and prejudice is answer is elizabeth 577 hyperion by keats may be classified as answer is an epic 578 t s eliot wrote 
the wasteland 579 gb shah's principles of criticism are similar to those of answer is karl marx 580 the wasteland is so basically wasteland is written in blank verse form 581 each poetry possesses the imaginative mysticism of criticism its answer 582 who considers hamlet to be an artistic failure so it is uh, t s eliot who considered hamlet as an artistic failure 583 which influence is shown in the work of shaw answer is french 584 eliot shows a bent towards answer is romanticism so he was actually uh, uh, in a way inspired by the romantic poets 585 mrs delaway is the masterpiece of answer is virginia woolf 586 the central figure among the victorian poet is answer is tennyson 587 browning is known for his dramatic monologues 588 which novel is written by d h lawrence sons and lovers 589 the arcadia by sir philip sidney is a romance 590 the fairy queen was written by answer is edmund spencer 591 the grounds of wild olive was written by answer is ruskin 592 David Copperfield Hard Times and Little Dorrit all were written by answer is Dickens 593 all good poetry is a spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings who made this statement answer is Wordsworth 594 a long poem is a combination of short poems who is held the above opinion again Wordsworth 595 Ravi Ben Ezra was written by answer is Browning 596 in 1857 Matthew Arnold as professor of poetry at Oxford delivered delivered his inaugural lecture in English language 597 the second generation of the romantic poets Shelley Byron and Keats was dated by answer is 1825 598 the advertisement added to the lyrical ballads was published in answer is 1798 599 hero and hero worship was written by answer is thomas carlyle 600 which poem of tennyson was particularly liked by queen victoria answer is in memoriam so that's all for today i hope uh, you you will get a uh, a uh, very reasonable sort of information through these mcqs so i have a, a simple request for you all that please do subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed it as yet also comment it like it and press the bell icon and share with your friends and also do watch our previous sessions in which we have covered 500 mcqs already so thank you all that's all for today So oh, see you uh, till the next session. Again, it's goodbye. Hasta la vista. See you.